Welcome everybody to TakeOver Orlando. This is part one of two. Hope you guys are excited for this pay-per-view and this part in particular. We guys are having a great day. We're going to jump right on into it here from Orlando, Florida. Alright, so we are going to kick off part one with the Cruiserweight Championship match. It will be the number one contender and challenger, Cedric Alexander, taking on the undefeated in championship matches, rather, Ricochet, who's won the title since its inauguration into Universe Mode earlier in the series. So Cedric Alexander looking to finally dethrone King Ricochet and take the Cruiserweight Championship away from him. It's going to be a great matchup, regardless of the outcome to Great athletes, two freakishly good athletes, basically. Just, you can do very unbelievable things. And when they're in a ring together, it's basically probably like a five-star match in the making right there. Cedric Alexander is the challenger. On his way to the ring first, the crowd fired up, ready to go for TakeOver Orlando. And as you mentioned in the intro, this will be one, part one of two that's just four key matches presented here at the pay-per-view before we wrap things up here from 2K18. On his way to the ring now is the Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet. And like we said moments ago, he's been the Cruiserweight Champion since its inauguration into the series months and months ago pretty much. So Ricochet looking to continue his title reign into... WWE 2K19. So we're going to get into this championship matchup a lot on the line for these guys. Cruiserweight title up for grabs in this one. If you guys are excited, be sure to drop a like. Let me know your predictions before this matchup starts. Who you think is going to win, Cedric Alexander or Ricochet? And again, if there's a poll, which I don't know if there will be, but if there is, be sure to participate in that. Let me know your thoughts on the poll as well. So Ricochet versus Cedric Alexander. The main event of this part will be the tag team championship match between Authors of Pain and DIY. Is a nice normal suplex from Ricochet starts things off in this cruiserweight title matchup. The champ in control early. Nice backbreaker to Alexander. And then part two will be the NXT Women's Championship Fatal 4-Way and the NXT Championship match. And then that's where NXT will basically end until October. And then next week as a super kick takes Alexander down. Ricochet just dominating Alexander out of the gate. Nice German suplex by King Ricochet. But then next week it will be, and technically later this week as well, will be WrestleMania. We'll have the pre-show highlights up sometime later this week. And then three parts for the main show itself will be up next week. And that will be it until October, as we've mentioned in the channel update and a couple other times before and after that. Alexander on the outside now, turning the momentum of this matchup more in his favor. Referee's count continues. These guys just going at it. The referee's count still going. Either men want to walk out with this title, they're going to have to get back into the ring. The title does not change hands on a count out or disqualification. Alexander tosses Ricochet back in. Gets back in himself there just in the nick of time. Big elbow and a step in Seguri to Ricochet. Alexander still now in control. Drags him to the middle of the ring. Stomp right to the chest. Gets him into a dragon sleeper submission. Ricochet holding on. He gets out of it. Picks up Alexander, now reversed into an inverted DDT. So far, Alexander's been Ricochet's most challenging opponent. 
So far, the last time we saw Ricochet defend the title was against Brian Kendrick in that match was part of that nine minute episode. I think it's part two in the flying form there by Alexander. One of the, that was the, one of the two shortest matches in Universe Mode history so far. That and the NXT Women's Championship match for that TakeOver episode. So Alexander already faring much better against Ricochet up to this point, despite getting clotheslined out of the ring just now. Ricochet springboard, salt off the apron. Takes Alexander down, going up top. Throwing it out, all out there, and a shooting star press. Referee's count continues. Tosses Cedric back in. Elbow to the face. Ricochet picking him up, another Northern Lights suplex, this time bridging into the cover. No, he does not. And the brain buster to Alexander. Perfect position for the 630, but doesn't go for it. Alexander reverses. Goes for a DDT, but Ricochet with the knee to the gut. Kirk and Ron, a takedown of Cedric. Ricochet off the ropes. And a shining wizard. Nearly taking Alexander's head off. Stomp turns him over. The leg takes the champion down. Alexander onto the apron once again. Going for another springboard for him. No, reversed right into a super kick. Ricochet had him scouted. Alexander might be out cold. Ricochet into the cover off of the super kick. One, two, three, and Ricochet remains. The cruiserweight champion. He will go into 2K19 as the champ. It was a pretty good matchup between these two men, as expected. Alexander put up a fight. Just got caught off guard by that super kick. And that will do it here from this cruiserweight championship matchup as we see the closing moments again in the replay. Cedric went to the ball one too many times for the springboard forearm, but Ricochet took advantage, saw it coming, hit him with a super kick out of thin air. And he remains the cruiserweight champion. We're going to move into part one's main event for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Alright, time for part one's main event. NXT Tag Team titles on the line. Maso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, DIY, the challengers. They won that matchup against Heavy Machinery last week to earn this shot at the Authors of Pain and the NXT Tag Team Championships. The crowd, definite, definite crowd favorites here. Hoping that Ciampa and Gargano can take the NXT Tag Team titles away from the Authors of Pain. It won't be an easy task by any means, but any duo is up for the challenge. It will be DIY. So we get right on into it. DIY in the ring now. Waiting their opponents and the champions. The authors of Pain, Akam and Rezar. One in dominant fashion to retain the titles against Sanity in the rematch. And as usual, led to the ring by the legendary manager and Hall of Famer Paul Ellering. Akam and Rezar looking to continue their reign of dominance, which now includes the titles. This is a big matchup for the champs, guys. The tag titles are on the line. So we're going to see if DIY can take the titles away from this dominant duo. If they can't, we're going to 
probably get a rematch sometime in 2K19. We're gonna get into this matchup now instead of ready, but now we actually are NXT Tag Team titles on the line. If you have not already hit that like button, be sure to do so now. If you're excited for this matchup and before it starts, who do you think is gonna win, AOP or DIY? Johnny Wrestling starting things off for his team, as does Akam for his. Step up and Scary takes Akam down. Johnny Wrestling going right after the one half of the tag champs, wasting no time. DIY desperate for those titles. Kick to the midsection. Tarkin Rana takes Akam down quickly. Johnny going up top. Razor onto the apron, trying to run interference. But Gargano gets out of it, misses the top rope maneuver. Paul Ellering now with the distraction of Gargano allows Akam to get back to his feet. Over the head, belly to belly, taking Johnny Wrestling down quickly. And the distraction by the manager pays dividends early in this matchup. Akam now takes control. Big boot to the face, clothesline from behind. Takes the tag to Razor. Step up and Siguri takes him down as well. Johnny sent into the corner. Splash by Razor. Nearly flattening. Gargano there. Kick to the back of the thigh. Aikum back onto the apron. Jawbreaker by Johnny. Into the corner, makes the tag to Tommaso Ciampa. Gut buster and a knee strike combination from DIY. Pulling out all the stops here. His right hands and slap. Might not want to do that to someone like Razar. Just anger the big man even more. Slam takes Ciampa right back down. Razor off the ropes. And the leaping knee strike doesn't fully connect, but just enough to take Razor down. And another knee strike. Left slaps. Stunning Razor for the moment, followed by an uppercut. for their face buster using the ropes as leverage. Ciampa sent out onto the apron. Razar makes the tag, so does Ciampa. We're back to where we started. A big right hand by Akam. Turns Johnny around. Goes for a backdrop suplex, but Johnny gets out of it. Clothesline takes. Akam out of the ring. Spring or just sends himself over the top rope into Akam. Throwing his body on the line for the tag team titles into the ramp barricade goes Akam. Big reversal count of three by the ref. Johnny gets out of another backdrop suplex. Comes back into the ring. Johnny Wrestling is fired up. Going up top. Going for a double foot stomp to the ramp, but doesn't fully connect on Akam. Tosses him back into the ring. Johnny onto the apron, waiting for Akam to get to his feet. Count of four, springboard, drop kick by Gargano, turns him around, going for that full Nelson face buster, straight into the cover, is this it, one, two, no, Akam out at the last second, Johnny thought he put him away, he thought so too for a minute, and again, Ellering distracting Gargano a second time, allowing Akam to get to his feet, big right hands, Johnny sent onto the apron again. Razard 
Now an illegal man in this matchup. Springboard goes for a springboard spear. Not enough. Takes out the referee by accident. Radar trying to take advantage, but Johnny turns it around. Rano sent into the corner. Another splash by Razor. And a headbutt right to the top of the head of Gargano. Boston Crab submission middle of the ring. Johnny has nowhere to go. Ciampa trying to get back into this matchup. Johnny holding on. He's able to power through. It's out of the submission, which we don't really see. The offensive pain exactly go for on a regular basis. The DIY setting up for the knee strike. Super kick combo a little bit backwards, but it works nonetheless. And he put Rezar away, and Johnny ends up breaking up his own team's pin attempt, trying to go after Akum. I'm also focusing on Rezar now. Gets him into the arm bar. Can he make Rezar tap out? Has it fully locked in? Nowhere for Rezar to go. He's trying to power out as best he can, but Ciampa lets him out. Turned over on his head. You can see the damage done to the arm. Razar holding it following the reversal. Ciampa tossed into the ropes. Big drop kick misses. Big uppercut takes Ciampa right down. And a big clothesline. The referee still distracted. Didn't see that. Champa in trouble. Johnny gets into the ring to break it up. Ellering distracting the referee as well. And now Akam going for a distraction as Rezar is going for the power bomb. Champa gets out of it somehow. All these pain distractions are not exactly helping them at the moment. And a knee strike might have just busted Razor open. Tried to take him down into the submission once again. Has it fully locked in this time? Is he going to make Razor tap out? That'd be a feat in and of itself, especially for the tag team titles in this instance. But again, just applying enough pressure. He could take out the limbs. And as powerful as the Authors of Pain won't be as powerful, so to speak. Jump onto the apron. Akum tagged back in. Step up into Gary by Johnny Gargano. Fired up. Back with the takedowns. And he smacked Ray in the face with a clothesline by Akum that time. Hitting a pressure point. Trying to weaken the shoulder and neck of Gargano. And for a move there, Johnny Wrestling gets a reversal inverted DDT. There is a chair in the ring that Ellering must have tossed in earlier, what was distracting the referee. And a super kick takes Akum down. Stun picks him up, waiting. Going for the full Nelson face buster. Again, this time into the cover. Referee distracted, not even counting. I don't know what's going on here, but that is definitely a three count. Johnny breaks the pin. I don't know if Ellering told the referee something where he wasn't counting or the accidental collision with Gargano confused the ref at how to do his job or I don't know what but referee seems very distracted nice hip toss takedown by Razor into the pin the referee focused on someone or something outside of the ring I don't know quite what's going on but this would be another near fall or another three count actually the referee not paying attention, but just focusing on whoever's on the apron and a headbutt to Johnny Wrestling there. 
Picks up Gargano. Big right hand. Makes the tag to Ciampa once more. Setting up for the knee strike super kick combination. Referee now going for the count. One, two, and no. Gets broken up once again. That time the referee's paying attention for a change. But Gargano going for Project Champa. No, I'm also going for Project Champa there. My bad. Into the cover now, but that's a rope break. Again, DIY partially getting screwed out of pinfall after pinfall there on the Authors of Pain. Leaping knee strike. Big right hands from Ciampa once again. Takes him down. DIY fired up. Ciampa looking to put them away. Both members of the Authors of Pain on the outside. Referee's count continues. And a senton off the apron by Gargano out of nowhere. Keeps him down even more. Ciampa gets out of the ring. Resets the count. Tosses him ripped first into the apron. Gets tossed back in. Ciampa to one knee gets up. Over the head, belly to belly. All of them back towards the corner. All four men visibly exhausted now. The reversal there by Ciampa. Gets him into the corner. Makes the tag to Johnny again. Finisher third. Time Ellering visibly frustrated two now. One, and now Ellering with the distraction of the referee. Ciampa took out Akum. But then Ellering, of course, making a difference in this matchup. Discus clothesline from Ciampa on the outside. Just one on one matchup right now. Kick to the midsection. Razor with the clothesline. Makes the tag to Akum again. Johnny gets out of the way, picks him up. Johnny in some trouble. Ciampa working his way back onto the apron, and he does. As expected, these two teams putting on a five star matchup. Johnny with another key reversal. Turns him around. Going for the face buster again. Straight into the cover. One, two, three, and DIY pull up the tremendous upset. They're able to put away the Authors of Pain after like five attempts up to this point. DIY finally capture the NXT Tag Team titles. Not as long of a reign as AOP was hoping and expecting but DIY proved why they are worthy champions. There you go. They could have put the match away several times earlier on, but distractions or confused referees nearly screwed them out of a victory, but they overcame the odds. Ciampa and Gargano are now the new tag team champions here in NXT. They will walk into 2K19 Universe mode as the tag champs atop of the division here in NXT. And that will do it here from part one of NXT TakeOver Orlando. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we will see everybody tomorrow in part two.